Hi friends! I am super excited about today's episode because I am here with my friend Blake Stevenson and he has a line of clothing that he's working on that's repurposed or handmade and we're going to talk about that, his passion for it, and where you can find some of these things. Welcome to the Dress Up Mom! But first, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you are a regular viewer and subscriber, I absolutely love you. Thank you. If you are new to the channel and you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. It's just a button here. It means the world to me as I'm trying to grow the channel. We are on all the social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at The Dress Up Mom, hashtag The Dress Up Mom, and you can check us out there too. Okay, like I said, I am here with Blake Stevenson. Now, full disclosure, I have known Blake since he was a little baby. He is the son of my very best friend, Jacqueline, who you've seen on the channel before. Oh, really? And yeah, That's she's cool. been on before, your mom has. It was very apparent from a super young age that this boy was sort of gifted in many ways, all right? I will show you, Blake, you don't remember. Oh my, what the? You have that? <laughs> Yo! So this is oh a drawing gosh. that Blake made for me. You did this when you were something like, I don't know. This is probably like fifth or sixth grade era, I'm sure. It, even younger. I really? think you were something like seven years old. He came over to our house and started doing these drawings. And I, I kept it. Thank you so much. Because <laughs> I knew that there was just art and talent in the in the blood here. Thanks. And I wanted to, and you even signed it. You can see here yeah. for me. Um, Blake also is an amazing performer and he is studying opera. Mm -hmm. At USC on a full scholarship. Hello. He also did a lot of performing in high school that we went and see, and not only did he star in these things, but he would actually draw the programs too. This is true. So this kid is special and always has been. Thank you. What Blake's doing now in his spare time while he's studying opera at USC <laughs> is repurposing clothes. Well, why don't you tell us what you're doing? Sure right? thing. So um, my mission is I'm trying to make clothes, repurpose and upcycle clothes from thrift shops, um, make clothes from scratch, and my whole emphasis is making stuff for yourself, by yourself, so you get to be the boss of what you make. You'll see that with some of the other pieces, but they're very tailored to how I want to be able to wear them and the lifestyle that I get to enjoy and that sort of thing. And yeah, it's basically my main mediums are like sewing, embroidering, and to an, an extent is where I really started was in screen printing, but right. yes. This is just a passion of yours, right? You just have to do art. Oh, there's like, like there is, yeah. It, you gotta get it out, I can't you know? not. There, there are times in the semester where like, only doing classical voice is awesome because it's really, really fun stuff to learn these old, this old music and 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 He's revitalize really good it. Too. But like being away from my machines and like my, uh, just like my my studio here at home in the garage was torturous. Like during finals week, I was like, I gotta get home. So I was watching all these tutorials about what I could build, ordering fabric so he'd get here right on time. And as soon as I got back, we're back in the lab making more stuff. So I literally cannot not uh, make clothes and you, just you cannot creative. not create. Yes. Right. And yes. here, this is his creative outlet. So, again, I wanted to just show you. Let's talk about some of the things that you're doing. Okay. So why don't you walk us through this piece here? For sure. Well, and as you, if you watch my channel, you know this is like right up my alley. This is the opposite of fast fashion. It is again taking and upcycling and repurposing something. There's so many great pieces out there, right, mm -hmm. that you can find. Oh, for sure. And do something unique about. So Blake's gonna walk us through like how he found some of these things, what he's doing, as well as some of the handmade pieces that you're doing based on sort of your own needs and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and why you're doing that. Yes. And we're gonna get the treat to actually watch him create. He's doing a, a birthday, birthday present. present yeah, for so somebody. the birthday party's so, later today, so I gotta get so it. So he's done. gonna create something, and I'm gonna try to get as much of that as I can for on sure. film. And then at the end, we will, not at the end, you can go into the description at any time, and there'll be a link that'll show you where you can go and actually buy some of these incredible pieces. Yes. 
I've, I've found one for myself already that I'm definitely taking home. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this one. Okay, for sure. So this is um, this is a piece that I got from the OC Mystery Box, which is definitely my favorite thrift store of all time in Southern California. And it, you know, you get a lot of cool stuff there. Let and let me hold it better. They're really keen on military stuff and like previously owned military gear. Yeah. So we had some of these khaki shirts that we bought. And just on the top, I embroidered, using an embroidery machine, not hand embroidered, that's way too intense for me, but I embroidered my personal logo, which is um, for part of my brand called Enoch, and just some backstory on that, Enoch is my great, great grandpa's name, he was the first, uh, my first Norwegian ancestor to come from Norway through Ellis Island, and he was a farmer, and I was honestly just super inspired by his story coming from a different country, and like, having to start up all on his own, and, and just using what he knew to like, start a new life for him and his family and I wanted to take that moniker and use it in my own fashion and yeah I also Enoch go Enoch, Enoch. go Enoch. grandpa great 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 grandpa Enoch yeah okay so this is really great and you know what's nice about these military pieces they're really well made oh yo I got to say something and we'll see we'll see this with the other piece too <laughs> like the designers for military clothing spare no expense there's no square inch on any of the garments that is not like usable in, in in a variety of different ways. So for instance, we're gonna see with another piece, but like there are all of these very adjustable patches, adjustable mm -hmm. zippers and stuff. So in any environment, whether it's um, like in the field or like not in the field, like the soldier who's wearing them can just make so much use of their garment, which is super cool and like big yeah. ups, like that's so, so yeah, respect. Yeah, I agree. So I like finding military pieces too. They're Agreed. great. I have a pair of old army pants that I love. That's and so I've been cool. Wearing them forever. So nice. this is great. I think this is the other piece you were talking about right. that you found. So that this is a military piece. Right. This is also OC Mystery Box. They are honestly my plug for a lot of this stuff. But as you can see, yeah, you got the adjustable sleeves. You have this really cool collar that like zips up for like protection around your neck. But also, if you invert it and you throw it over like this, it can become more like a dress shirt thing. Mm, so like, so depending it. on like what kind of environment you're in, uh, the zipper is really nice and snug. Um, and I think you said, so what Blake did is you dyed this. Right, dyed it blue. Dyed it blue, and he has some amazing things he's going to do to it, right? Right. You're going to do some embroidery or something else on this. So this piece, people, will be up on, on the site soon. For You'll sure. be able to buy this, right? Yes, yes. It'll be a, a big mystery when you see it, but here's how it started before with just the dyed part of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then now this jacket that I fell in love with, I'm gonna take right. it off and okay. you tell us about this, because I think this just embodies everything that you're talking about, right? For sure. So this is a denim jacket I got at the Goodwill right by USC, and which is where I go. And it looked really good and like, um, I, unfortunately, on the back side... Oh, it's a Levi's one. Yeah. I didn't even know that. So I was hyped about this one. I was really hyped about this piece. Yeah. But unfortunately, it had a giant back panel that was completely, like, it just had this big embroidery for Bumble, which uh. is a dating app, which is fine because my friends have found wonderful partners on Bumble. <laughs> However, you I do not it. use Bumble and I didn't really want to be their sponsor or whatever, so I cut out so the back. So what he did? Yeah. Re-sewed on... Um, some flannel fabric that I got from Oregon, and I did my death metal uh, style logo on the back with an embroidery machine, and uh, did the same with... No, you have the Enoch here, yeah, right? Yeah, well, I did the Enoch logo over here, and then on this side, I came from behind, so it looked like it was peeking out of the cave or whatever, and like it also says Enoch with multicolored text. Okay. So sewing from this the inside. This is fine. And that sort of thing. This I fell in love with. Sure. I'm purchasing this one, so this you will not be able to find online. This is the case. But I'm sure there will be a lot of other cool pieces like this. So. <laughs> I mean, if this is just the start of what you're doing, people, I think I am exposing you to a, the next big star here in fashion or Let's down so. the road. So you just taught yourself how to sew too, right? Yes. I'm I so jealous of that. I just can never do that. But yeah, you just went in there, learned how to sew, learned yeah. how to use the embroidery machine. I mean, I love it. Okay, so these are some of the pieces that Blake actually made from hand himself. Right, so it, it might be hard to see, but this is a hoodie. Uh, I sew from scratch with some fabric I got from Portland, Oregon, um, and I love the flannel, to be honest, and I just it's did a little... It's this a great is, flannel. Dude, I love flannel. I've been... But this is a kind of a unique looking one, too. I, I haven't mm -hmm. seen one exactly like this, but okay, sorry. Yeah, no, it's all good. Um, I 
To be honest, the inspiration from this piece came from a couple things. The first being that all flannel hoodie is not super common in my experience. You can buy. You, whenever, whenever I see flannel integrated into a hooded outfit, for like men or at least, or unisex, it's always like the flannel jacket and then like a gray hoodie, right? right. They're never integrated into the same piece. Yeah, and I wanted to integrate them in the same piece, so I just used flannel fabric for the whole thing to have but one cohesive. A, you know, this is a really nice weight flannel too. It's mm -hmm. not too heavy for here. We're in Southern California. Right. And it's also soft. I sometimes think of flannel as being a little bit harder, right? right? This right. is a really nice piece. Okay. Thank you. And then you were telling me that you don't like... I personally, this I might get some hate for this, but like <laughs> uh, the drawstrings in hoodies, I generally take them out. Like okay. I don't really like the way they kind of get up in my business. Like they're not... They, and they also can kind of obstruct if you have a design right here. Right. So I chose... For my piece, because I'm the boss of my own piece, yeah. is I get to take them out. I don't need to. I didn't even put them in in the first place. What is it even the purpose of it? I mean, I think I it's guess to like scrunch yeah, yourself. Right, okay, but, but I don't want to do that. that. So no drawstring. No drawstring. And? and I knew, honestly, in ideal world, I would like to have this little like fluffy thing. But because it's a lightweight piece that I'm going to be wearing in Southern California, I don't really need the hand warmer bottom section that you see in a lot of hoodies. Mm -hmm. So also removed and I just had a very sleek, sleek design yeah. for this and I really personally like the way it came out it and is awesome that sort of thing. and I'll tell you I think this is also unisex and great for women too because I never liked that thing because it like accentuates your poochy area yeah no right no poochy I accentuation. mean who needs that pooch accentuation in a big pocket yeah. at your stomach I mean especially if it's like so lightweight it just doesn't make any right sense. okay this this these are cool yeah and this here's some duplicates of the same thing and just some different flannels just to get some variations on the theme here's a, a blue green flannel and here's like a red cardinal like yellow gold flannel yeah same nice. idea this one's a little more lightweight and stuff so it's more like pajamas mm -hmm. but honestly I I'm pretty biased here but I like wearing these around I like to wear my own clothes and stuff and just be That's able to great. say that. Yeah, Love it. Stuff. Love it. Then the last piece here we're going to show for now. There's a lot of them. And again, just go online, look at, uh, in the description below and find this great stuff. So this is another piece. Yeah. So this is just the last piece. My friend works at Calvin Klein. Mm -hmm. So he gave me a fat discount for this piece. I ended up spending in a ridiculous amount for it. And I feel very pleased. On the jacket? On the jacket. So the, you bought the jacket. New. Right. New, bought the new jacket, and then I was like, well, this jacket is cool, but I wanted to line the inside oh with a Sherpa gosh. layer. Oh, so, this is so nice. It honestly, like, mo like, I like wearing it more, and I feel kind of obnoxious wearing it because it's so, like, big and poofy. Well, I love it too, how it kind of poofs. You can have, like, the collar come out. Yeah, and just... otherwise it's kind of floppy, you know? Right, okay, this is just lovely. Yes. All right, Thank you. these are good. We are now going to go and see some of this genius in progress as Blake creates a birthday present for one of his friends. Yes. All right, so this is kind of a throwback for me. This is more of the early design stuff, but originally I was really inspired by medieval tapestry art and that sort of thing oh with lots gosh, of dragons. That is so cool. And like these scary like monsters and stuff from the Bible. So what I was thinking was what I would do is, um, before I started embroidering and stuff, I would do screen printing. So screen printing is where you take a drawing and you can put it onto a screen that you run ink or paint through and then mm -hmm. you cure it with a heat gun or a flash dryer and then it sticks to the garment. So this is water-based ink on denim. And here are some of the like the films that I would use. So these are actually directly drawn on by my me and my hand and stuff. Mm, so and then cool. these ones are on the iPad. Um, and I would just draw, and then you want to get them clear with some very dark uh, films and that sort and of thing. Then, up. after some exposure under a, a, a bright light, this design becomes this stencil. If you can see, do you see the similarity? Like, this yeah. is the same thing. You can see that. That's really cool. Right. So then you just load it up with paint up here and take a squeegee and go, whoosh, and then if you lift it up, all that's left behind is, the, is, the, is, is what you want. That's so cool. So I did that on this pocket right here. And what I think I'm gonna do for my friend's birthday mm -hmm. is I'm gonna sew the pocket to the shirt using the, the sewing machine. Uh -huh. And then I'll just pin it down, do a real easy, uh, that sort of thing. And yeah, that's I think what I'm gonna do. Okay, that's perfect.
caccia, ma non rida, cosa c'è un flavia ruina, posso c'è un flavia ruina. Vengo, vengo, resta, resta, e una cosa molto resta. Malandrina, posto gli orti la mia ruina, posto gli orti la mia ruina. Vengo, vengo, resta, resta, è una cosa molto resta. Faccio il nostro cavaliere, cavaliere ancora c'è, cavaliere ancora c'è. Faccio il nostro cavaliere, cavaliere ancora c'è. Faccio il nostro cavaliere, cavaliere ancora c'è, cavaliere ancora c'è. This was so fun for me. I really enjoyed sure. doing this and I really appreciate you being on the channel, Blake. Please go and check out this stuff. I guarantee you will like it. I'm in love with my piece. I haven't taken it off since I saw it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little. <laughs> Ciao, 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 ciao